Good day, collectors and viewers. Social Distance Warrior is back. And today we're going to look at Captain Rex. And we're going to take a look at Captain Rex from when he first appeared. And then we're going to take a look at Captain Rex all the way up to the version that we have today. So Captain Rex, of course, made his debut way back in 2008 as part of the Clone Wars. So in 2008, once... George Lucas was done making his movies. The prequel trilogy was done in 2005 with Revenge of the Sith. Then it looked like we weren't going to get any more Star Wars. And all of a sudden we announced we're going to get some more Star Wars. Except we're going to get them in animated form. So uh, work started on you know, exploring what happened in the Clone Wars. So what happened between Episode 2 and 3. And you know, what a pleasure and delight that we got that story explained to us. And we have a number of seasons of that series and it really goes in depth and makes the prequels way better because it explains a lot about of course jedi characters it explains a lot more about anakin and obi-wan it introduces us to ahsoka and of course it introduces us to the clones and in particular the guy we see in front of us over here captain rex now captain rex of course is anakin skywalker's right hand guy it's part of anakin skywalker's uh, platoon and uh, he made his debut in the Clone Wars animated movie, which came out in theaters in August 2008. And we got a whole bunch of new characters along with some characters that we knew that were familiar to us. And Captain Rex, uh, probably the most popular clone, I'd say, you know, right up there with Commander Cody, who is Obi-Wan's uh, clone captain. But Captain Rex, for sure holds a special place in everybody's heart and of course we got him in some new multimedia these days as well so how fitting fitting to have a review on captain rex so let's get in uh, so the first captain rex figure we'd get would be part of the clone wars blue line so of course with the animated series we had an animated line as well that came out and coincided with the regular uh movie version figures and they had their own line and hasbro did not cheap out they made figures in animated form Captain Rex, one of them, in super articulated form. So they have multiple joints that move and uh, they hold an animated style. But of course, they scale wise, they fit in right with your regular figure as well. So Captain Rex was initially a mail away figure. So when that line came out, all the figures came with a promotion sticker on the bubble. And it said, if you mail away proofs of purchase, you can get your Captain Rex figure. You can get them early. And of course, I wanted to get a Captain Rex figure because that was the new Star Wars media that we had at the time. We were starving for media. So that's this guy over here. This is the very first interpretation of Captain Rex. You can see that he is slimmer and thinner because he does appear in his Clone uh, Clone Wars style, animated style, in his Clone Wars garb. And of course, you can see him in the Phase 1 clone outfit as well. So we get introduced to him. We find out all these clones have different personalities. And of course, Captain Rex is in charge of his own a team and of course the right hand guy to Anakin Skywalker so you can see the nice detail that was put on this figure consider how old the figure was uh, he get re-released in the regular line as well but here he is in his first release we'll bring him up close there so we can see the head sculpt uh, he's got the helmet on there you can see a nice paint job on there the antenna the antenna does not move it just stays stationary there uh, these things tend to bend over slightly so you want to be careful with them but He's got the nice little fin there on the helmet all the way around to the back. And of course, it's got that awesome animated style because that's what we're accustomed to or used to at the time. Uh, as far as articulation, uh, you can see that he does have a separate piece here, shoulder piece, pauldron that sits on top there. That is removable. You can take that off if you want. And of course, articulation over here on the arms. We can move that arm all the way up. He's got full swivel there, um, ball joint at the very, very top. Same with the elbow. You can get that into that pose there. You can see I still have the uh, elastic holding the blaster in place. The blaster is awesome. The blaster is nicely weathered. It's not just a straight black plastic. I mean, we got spoiled over here. We Nowadays, we get these blasters in a gummy, rubbery plastic. They're not even painted. And this guy is painted. It's weathered. It's fully detailed. It's obviously supposed to appeal to both kids and collectors alike. I think that was their target market. I think it was really smart of them. As far as the wrist as well, if we remove that gun, we can see that we have extra articulation over here where you can move that wrist up and down to give you extra added posability with these characters. Just awesome articulation for something as long ago as it was. So as we work our way down over here, we can see he does have articulation over here. 
um, at the chest piece. So he has the ability to go back and forth, uh, side to side, up and down. He's got some nice, a nice crunch there, forward and back. Uh, he does have a skirt. That skirt is kind of a second piece, but it's mounted to the actual figure as well. So if you were to take that apart, you'd have a big gap over there. So that's not removable. And it does, of course, get in the way a little bit if you want to try and get Captain Rex over here to sit. He does have two working holsters on his belt over here. So you can see he's got his guns in there and they are removable. Let's just move that arm up to show you. And you can see that the guns are nicely... Um, painted as well they're weathered they're detailed on there considering this is an animated show they went all out on these blasters got a nice unique look and those just take come in and out of that holster there you can put them on the side uh, as we work our way down over here he does have uh, just a straight swivel there at the thigh uh, he does have articulation over here at the knees and surprisingly he does have articulation here at the ankle as well you can see that They've gone all out articulation wise here. I love how they painted the little blue knee pads on here. Gives it extra detail. And of course on the skirt, there's a nice little blue outline that comes across as well to give you more detail on Captain Rex. So that's Captain Rex there from the front. Okay, we lift Captain Rex underneath. We can see his foot pegs in there. We look up close, we can see on one foot that says Hasbro China. The other one says 2008 Lucasfilm Limited. So we got the year right, that's for sure. And we turn him to the side, that's what he looks like there from the side. And we turn around to the back and that's what he looks like from the back. And you can see they've painted him nicely all the way around. And then if you've got that shoulder pauldron, if we lift that up, he's got that Stormtrooper uh, clone insignia there on the back of his backpack. Uh, one more added feature, of course, on this figure is that that helmet is removable. So we can take that helmet off and we have Captain Rex exposed underneath here with his nice bleach blonde hair. Uh, very reminiscent of Eminem or rapper or anything that, that was at the time. Yeah, a bit of a receding hairline, but he's got that awesome face sculpt and it matches what you see in the Clone Wars. Uh, his head is on a ball joint as well, so you can move that head fully around or pop it off and put somebody else's head on there if you wanted to. Uh, it give you a lot of customization options with this guy. As far as the helmet itself, that's the helmet of Captain Rex's there. I'll bring it up nice and close so you can see it fully detailed around. They even put the little yellow accents on the top of the helmet there over the visor and you can see they painted the tip of the antenna there and you can see that the paint job runs all the way around or even in the back over here. Nothing was cheaped out on these figures. They went all out and took a lot of pride and it's definitely an awesome figure and one that you want to have in your collection if you were a Clone Wars themed Captain Rex fan. All right so Captain Rex he'd get first be up show up as a mail away and then of course he'd get released as a regular card carded release and he'd be show up in some battle packs and then we wait a couple years and we get a new captain rex this time from a clone wars episode called um a cold weather assault version of captain rex so they go into the snow and captain rex is one of the clones that's lucky enough to have a you know winter slash weathery version that's reminiscent of course of our uh, snow troopers from the original trilogy so again a clone wars animated design nice design on the figure and you can tell it's captain rex with a blue insignia uh, his whole team has it but he stands out in there because he's got that little extra uh, top headpiece that sits on top there so let's bring him up close just so you can see the head sculpt and you can see the nice pattern that runs all the way around on the figure they took a lot of time you know to work on the details here on the character uh, he is articulated as well Captain Rex is and of course he does have his famous holsters on him the headpiece over here the head isn't articulated you can't move it side to side it's fixed but of course you can take this top piece and remove that and then I guess you can kind of say it's more of like a generic clone right now but not really because you got a big hole there in the top but that's what you have as far as the head very very little movement actually I thought there was no movement but there you go there is a little bit of movement there but that's Captain Rex as he appears from the Clone Wars. We'll put that top piece on. He's looking a little, little bit funny without it. As far as the figure's articulation over here at the shoulder, he does have the ball joint there, so you can move that up. Uh, he does have shoulder pads here. They are a separate piece, so they probably would pop off if you force that arm all the way up. I'm not going to. Uh, and then, of course, over here, he has a articulation there at the elbows. He can bend it full there. You see he's got his rifle in hand. We're just going to take that rifle out. That rifle, unfortunately, is not painted like that nice weathered rifle and pistols were on that original Mail Away release. But it's a nice Clone Wars design of 
the Clone Wars rifles. Uh, and of course, over here at the wrist, you can move them side to side. Uh, it doesn't have that extra articulation to go up and down, but you can see they painted the glove nicely as well. There, it's got like a nice weathered, snowy look on Captain Rex. And I love how on the side here, everything's kind of weathered and it's not a perfect paint job. It's chippy. It's like he's been wearing this thing for a while. Uh, as far as the chest over here, you can turn them side to side. You have a tiny bit of movement, not really a big crunch because the outfit gets in the way. But you can see they painted the nice little front of the chest piece here. The buttons there, red and blue. Uh, as far as the skirt, the skirt is attached to the body piece there, but he does have his famous holsters on there. And of course, we can pull his weapons out. There's one of his pistols. And you can see in the pistols, they're not painted anymore. It's just the flat gray, dark gray uh, color, gunmetal color that pops in there. They probably looked at that and said, yeah, you know what? We're wasting too much money on these guys. See where we can get cut costs. And that's okay. We don't really need to have the pistols painted, but it's nice when they are. Uh, as far as articulation here, uh, the skirt gets in the way of the legs, but you do have a swivel there at the side, at the thigh, so you can lift his leg up. Uh, you can bend his knees, and of course there was a speeder. I think it was a Freco or a Freco speeder that came out at the time. And you could put Captain Rex in there, and Obi-Wan can drive one as well. Uh, no articulation here at the ankle, Okay, but he's got the nice boots on. You can see the nice pattern effects on the boots, and of course he does have his blue uh, knee pads there just like his regular costume has. So that's Captain Rex in his cold weather assault outfit from the front. Let's lift him up underneath here. Underneath we can see it says 2009 Lucasfilm Limited. And then on the other foot it just says Hasbro China, but he's got even the little treads there on the bottom of the boots, which is neat. So if we turn him over to the side, that's what Captain Rex looks like from the side. And then we turn around to the back, we notice he's got a nice backpack on there with a big antenna and if you're wondering if it's removable yes it is it does come off so you can pop that off to have a look at it in detail that's what it looks like you can see it's painted nicely all the way around nothing was missed paint job wise on this thing it's nicely detailed and it's got a nice little peg on the back there and it just pops right in to captain rex's back spot there so that's captain rex cold weather assault from the clone wars all right, next up, we have to wait only one year. But what was amazing with the figures at the time, anything that was coming out between 2007 and 2012, that time area, they really pushed ahead and evolved the figures. They were gradually better every single year, and it would give you a reason to buy this figure again as a result. So in 2011, as part of the Clone Wars Blue Skies line, we got a rocket and propulsion pack version of Captain Rex, and that's this guy over here. So now they've gone a lot more in detail. He's still in his phase one clothes outfit, but they've gone a lot more detail here, and they've given us a nice cloth goods skirt here on the bottom. And you can see his helmet. It doesn't have the antenna painted on this one here, but he comes with some added accessories, this really cool-looking uh, jetpack that he actually wore in one of the episodes when they were um, infiltrating one of the uh i believe it was one of the separatist bases and so they had to sneak in and they couldn't go in with a ship so they had to jump in and have these jetpacks on and the jetpack does have extra features on there it's got these guns that can be lifted up and down and of course it's designed where you can take this jetpack off and look at the figure and we're going to do that as well so i just want to look at the figure with the jetpack on momentarily uh, i love this little spot here he's got this blaster pistol there in the front and it melts right on the front of that um right on the front of that jetpack i guess you can say jetpack armor outfit there it's a nice pistol i love these pistols that the figure later figures had they have the big um barrel there on the front of the gun and that slips right into the side there and your figure is equipped for battle so that pops right in as far as the figure himself he does have his holsters here on the sides as well and of course the holsters Unlike the original release where they were mounted to the skirt, now we have a cloth skirt and they are a separate piece and they hang to the side. They add a lot more to realism, a lot more realism to the figure. We'll look at the jetpack first here and then take that off so we can look at the character. Uh, the jetpack itself, it does have, you know, these little rocket boosters here on the bottom. Uh, there is hollow part there, but you can't, you don't have any attach attachments to stick inside there. It's just there for design and you can see the nice detail that went on the back there it really matches the look of Captain Rex's armor. So as far as taking that off, we have to pull this uh, helmet off the figure. We can see the figure does have a removable helmet. So he's got that 
part there and we're going to momentarily just look at the backpack here on the side you can see there's a couple pegs there you can tighten this thing up tighter or you can have it a little bit looser and if you just pop that all open uh, you're able to get this jetpack off so i'm not going to do that on camera i'm going to go ahead and pull it off and show you the figure so here's that jetpack removed off of captain rex and you can see that the whole piece does come off um, i did pull off the bottom belt buckles here but this piece does come off here as well you can just pull that off to make it a little bit easier i found that the hard way it's probably better i did this with the figure off um offline <laughs> so you didn't see me struggling taking it apart but that's the design and i'm going to show you the figure and you're going to see that it actually doesn't change anything on the look of the figure if you didn't want to have this jetpack on them and wanted to have captain rex as a regular figure you have that option as well this is just like an accessory uh, so the figure itself here he is and you can see he's an updated version of the phase one captain rex that we had that we just talked about with the cloth skirt over here he does have that removable helmet if we take that helmet off and you can see he does have that separate shoulder piece the head uh, on a ball joint there so you can turn him side to side he doesn't have the ab crunch over here he can just turn to side to side and i think that's probably because of the jetpack they wanted to solidify him a little bit or maybe it was cost cutting because they were including a separate accessory uh, it doesn't really get in the way because you have some extra features on here that's going to compensate for that as far as the arms themselves they are on ball joints here at the shoulders uh, his shoulder pads do get in the way kind of on how much you can turn that you'd have to turn it up here before you get them fully engaged where you can have his arm raised in the air he does have the ability to bend there at the shoulder as well and then you can just turn it swivel side to side over here at the wrist it doesn't have that articulation at the wrist like that original figure did still a nice design you can see that the holsters are separate pieces attached to this belt over here and he's got the cloth good skirt and then of course the guns do come out just to show you there the guns come out and the design's a little more realistic on these guns as well they've gotten a little bit thinner a realistic design but they're black and they're not weathered at all so they're just a straight one color uh one new feature on this on these figures that started coming out here in that 2011 slash 2012 2012 field is that they had ball joint hips over here well ball joint the thigh uh, legs here at the thighs and that's awesome that gives you that added articulation on the figure uh so you can see you can move them up and down it's a little bit of a struggle just to turn that to lift it but you can see that it is on a ball joint and you can turn that uh figure up and down there at the knee as well you can bend the knees there turn them side to side and of course over here at the ankle there's nothing on this guy i think just because of the weight of that jetpack they didn't want to have it where you couldn't stand your figure at all and frustrate you uh, or maybe just they just compensated in a way because they gave you so many accessories and believe it or not didn't charge you more this thing didn't come as a deluxe pack and charge you twenty dollars more just to get an accessory with the figure you got them as a regular figure in the store with the other one so that's captain rex there from the front if we lift him up we can see underneath he's got his foot pegs on one foot hasbro china the other foot says 2011 lfl lucasfilm limited okay and a nice little grip on the bottom there so that's captain rex there from the front we turn him to the side that's what he looks like from the side with his cloth goods skirt so if we turn Captain Rex around to the back here, we can see his skirt. And you can see he does have his pauldron there. And it's got a hole running through the pauldron. And it's got a hole running through his back there. Because this is probably a, used, a figure used from a different mold. Because that jetpack doesn't have anything there on the inside to mount it to. He actually mounts around the sides. So this is probably a Captain Rex that was from a different mold. And uh, they just hid that on there on the back okay so just so you're aware of that as well those that hole in the back of this guy does not um amount to anything with this figure it's just from a different design and you can maybe it's just designed where you can use it with other accessories that you have from other figures but that is our captain rex from 2011 from the clone wars blue skies line okay so next up the next captain rex figure that we'd get would be in 2012 this would be part of the phantom menace 3d wave yeah it's a phase two version of captain rex in his phase two armor uh, i don't have the figure we're going to throw a photo up there for you to see but of course as the show went on um, we were leading closer and closer towards episode three so we went from the phase one clone outfits that we saw in attack of the clones and as the series progressed so did the characters obviously the character arcs progressed and of course the character outfits and design progressed as well and of course that just meant more money 
uh, for Lucasfilm and for Hasbro to make figures, and we got closer to the, the to the design from Episode Three, and of course to the design of the way the clones would resemble stormtroopers that we're all familiar with. So that was in 2012. So in 2013, we get a Saga Legends um, version of Captain Rex. So of course Disney takes over Star Wars. They purchase them and they're in charge. And for some reason, all of a sudden, the quality and the toy industry of Star Wars deteriorates and we get five points of articulation figures when we got used to all these great ones that we've looked at till now. Uh, so there was a version of Captain Rex um, in his design there in five points of articulation. I don't have the figure. We're throwing a picture up so you can see that on screen. Uh, I refused to buy them and they were almost the same price if not the same price as the regular figures anyway and they really just sat on the pegs because collectors looked at them and said this is inferior product why am i going to buy this so lo and behold we of course would still get better versions of figures but a little bit scarcely uh in 2015 uh they, we've done away of course with the vintage collection now in star wars they had the saga legends the movie legends line that had the five points of articulation figures and all of a sudden we had uh black series figures in both three three quarter inch and in six inch form. And in 2015, we get a Black Series realistic version of Captain Rex uh, on how he would appear if he was part of the movies to go with your movie line of figures. Uh, we'll look at the figure in a second because he would get re-released, but that was, the initial release was in 2015. Uh, some fans liked the figure release, some didn't like it. I was ecstatic that we got a realistic version of Captain Rex and we're gonna look at them right now. So. As the Vintage Collection came back, uh, they had announcements of figures that were going to get released on Vintage Collection cards, and they decided they were going to release some of these figures that not many people had a chance to get or knew about because they were a little scarcer, those Black Series ones from 2015. And Captain Rex was one of the ones that got re-released in 2020 on a Vintage Collection card. He's exactly the same figure, just of course with a slightly a more detailed paint job, and I have him on card over here. We'll bring him to the forefront to have a look. So there he is. Uh, the card back is amazing. Star Wars, Clone Wars, Captain Rex in the name pill there. And look at the picture that they chose of Captain Rex there. It's awesome. It's a nice uh, depiction of Captain Rex, the nice little Kenner logo here on the back bottom. And then you can see Captain Rex there inside with his two blasters beside him and nicely detailed Captain Rex in there. So that's the look of the front of this card back. Let's have a look at the card back from the back. We can see that he's VC number 182, and there's, of course, there's some other figures that were released along with Captain Rex at the time, but that is his carded release for the Vintage Collection if you wanted to have a version of Captain Rex to go with the rest of your Vintage Collection figures. So we'll put that back over here on the side, and let's take a close look at that figure. So again, this figure is the same one that was in that Black Series release. Uh, I love this figure. I know this figure gets a lot of hate just because... Um, the action figure industry, the action figure look on these characters moved a long way from this release. And everybody just kind of felt that this release warranted one that had more articulation, that was a little bit more realistic and designed to go with the other stuff that we were getting. But I was just ecstatic to get a Captain Rex, and I never actually had that original one from 2015. So getting him now, I was ecstatic just to have a realistic version of Captain Rex. And so we're going to look at him in detail here. We're going to bring up his helmet. You'll see that he is the Phase 2 design and you can see the awesome paint job on the helmet and I, don't you love those little counts that he's got on his helmet there every single battle droid or super battle droid that he took out the clones they kept count of that and they have that in detail in this character and again it gives him like a really dark design it looks like he's weathered and he's been out there for a very long time uh, battling the separatist army and trying to protect the republic and the jedis so it's a really nice design depiction that i get uh, the head is on a ball joint the head is non-removable. The head's a little bit small for the body. Okay, I do. I will I will agree with that part, but that's also because the helmet's not removable. When we got used to that removable helmet, we're used to a bigger head as well. So that's what the head looks like on Captain Rex. You can see the shoulder pauldron here is separate and it is removable. Uh, if we look over here at the shoulders, he does have a shoulder ball joint there, so you can move that arm up. Again, the shoulder pad gets in the way. You'd have to go all the way there to get his arm up. Uh, you can obviously bend his arm there at the elbow. You have articulation there as well. And then as well at the wrist. Okay, and you'll notice over here at the wrist that he does have that ar extra articulation here at the wrist. 
So they've given him that um, extra design there, like the original figure had that came back way out, what came back out way back in 2008. Uh, if we look nicely closely here at the at his uh, wrist, you can see he does have the count there on how many battle droids and super battle droids he's taken out. He's counting the counting continues there. The design is really nice and continues over here as well on the side of his arm. You can see the nice blue uh, paint job coming down, and you can see the count. The counter is there on the bottom of on this side of his wrist as well and onto the glove. So just an awesome design on the character here. He does have weathering here on the side. It looks like rusting or, or cuts. Um, I don't know. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of indifferent on it. I know they wanted to give it a weathered look, but it just kind of it stands out. It looks like he's about to die. But uh, that's Captain Rex there from the front. As far as articulation here at the waist, you can turn him side to side. So you do have that motion there. He does have a separate belt piece, but again, it's integrated into the body there. Uh, we're back to that plastic skirt. It's not, unfortunately, cloth, which would have been amazing on this figure and probably would have made him a lot better. As far as the guns, you can see they have holsters there. And he's got the realistic Clone Wars guns uh, to go with the realistic look that he's got there. So as we work our way down, of course, we looked at the swivel there at the thigh, and he does have a bend at the knee here. This one's a little bit tight, so I'll show you that on this knee over here, that you can bend them there, so you have that extra motion. Uh, the way they've designed the skirt, so although it is a plastic skirt there, when you lift this leg up, it kind of moves out of the way to the side. It's designed nicely where you can actually lift his leg up and not get in the way. Uh, and then, of course, down here at the ankles, he does have that added articulation as well, where you can move his ankles up and down. Some motion there. No rocker ankles. That was still a thing of the future at the time for these figures, and that's probably a bit of the gripe, of course, people had with releasing this guy again. So there's Captain Rex, this realistic version from the Vintage Collection from the front. If we look underneath here, we can see he's got his foot pegs, and on one it says uh, Hasbro China, the other foot it says 2014 Lucasfilm Limited, so that was just before the release in 2015. So there's another look at him from the front. We turn him to the side. There's Captain Rex from the side. We see some more uh, counters over here on, on his uh, wrist and hand. And of course, we see that over here on the on his boots as well. I just want to show you that he's got that running down the boots as well. Like These guys have been in battle a long, long time at this point in the Clone Wars. And of course, there's the look on the back. And you can see on the back, they even painted in the little buttons on the back of his uh, armor there, which is a nice little neat design. And that's the Captain Rex that we got as part of the Vintage Collection. All right, so next up is a couple more years. Now in 2022, uh, we get another vintage collection version of Captain Rex. This one came in a four pack with other clones. Uh, it was an Amazon exclusive up here in Canada. I believe it's the same in the in the States. Uh, it came on a Bad Batch card back. So I do have that card back over here of the figure. So that's the card back that he came on. Of course, he appeared in the Bad Batch, which was, which was a new show that took place after uh, episode three and introduced us to the Bad Batch. And Captain Rex made his appearance in that episode over there. And uh, you can see that's a nice little depiction of him there. He's wearing a, a jacket or a poncho to kind of be in disguise somewhat while he was hiding. Uh, so that's the front of the card back there. You can see it's got a Bad Batch logo, the name pill, Captain Rex. And of course the Kenner, Kenner insignia there on the bottom. We turn that over to the back. And we'll see that he's VC number 208. And there's some other figures that were released as well. Here's the other guys that came with Captain Rex here on the bottom in that four pack. And every single one of them came on a vintage collection card back as well. So that is the card back for this guy. And let's have a look at the figure. So the figure over here, again, uh, he's been updated. So he does come on the newer uh, clone body that came out in the vintage collection. But again, it's not really a new design that... Clone Wars uh, clone body that they had is a skinnier one that came out in early the early 2010s, 2011 timeline. And you see he does have his pistols in hand there. You can see he does have uh, a cloth goods jacket or, or poncho or whatnot hanging over him here. It's a really nice look to it, really nice design. Uh, the helmet itself is a little bit big because it's removable. We'll look at that in a second. But he does have the visor that comes down. One thing I don't like about the visor is that the antenna part of his helmet there is connected to it. So you can't have it 
this up and the antenna staying straight up once you lift that up the antenna goes all the way back with it as well so maybe that is the way the design was intended on this thing but it kind of takes away from the look a little bit the detail on the helmet is really really good can bring that close up and it's really nice to have a new captain rex i like that i love the uh poncho that he's wearing it reminds me of uh, of course our jedi friends rebels on the on the forest moon of endor when they had those ponchos on so he's in disguise over here and of course that visor does come up and down you can put that down over his face and you can see he does have his battle droid counts there on the top of his helmet as well so they've kept that realistic look going on this guy and of course this nice stitching and decorated look on that poncho uh we can pop that helmet off just to have a look at his head it's a little more difficult to get this guy off it's tight but it does work there we go so there's captain rex with that awesome realistic new clone head that they have uh, you can see how far we've come with the design they look like tamora morrison uh, and it's he's in the nice uh, blonde hair look paint job is really really good the head's on a ball so you can move them move them all the way around we're going to try to have a look at him without the poncho on as well to show you a little more detail on this guy a little more updated look because you can have him as a regular Captain Rex, especially if you didn't like the one that you got first in the vintage collection that was based on that Black Series one. So that's what he looks like with his poncho one. He does have his pistols in hand. You can see they're realistic, small. They're a little gummy, a little small uh, gummy pistols, but they do the trick. They can sit in his hand, stand in his hand nicely. He does have trigger, finger, trigger fingers on both sides there to hold them. And we'll look at some more detail on this guy right now as we take the poncho off. So here's Captain Rex without the poncho on. You can see he's definitely a lot uh, more realistic underneath here than that previous release was. Uh, just a nice little tip. When you're taking that poncho off, this guy over here that comes on the figure, he does have a hood piece that you can put over the character if you don't have the helmet on. It's a little tricky to get on him. But make sure you pop the head off before you try and take this off. So you want to pop the head off. It's on a ball joint. And then you just lift the arms up and you bend them slightly and this thing can slide off. It's a little bit tricky to do but you want to be careful with it because it's got stitching cross stitching that goes across and then you'll have an open jedi cloak if you're not careful with it so there's captain rex without that on you notice he's got the nice cloth good skirt here uh, we're going to pop his helmet off just to have a nice look at him here he does have he does look a little bit strange without that poncho on uh, because then the head sitting on the ball it's a little bit high so it almost looks like he's got a really thin neck and a big head but you still get away with it okay as far as the articulation again over here at the top he does have a ball joint there at the shoulder uh, the shoulder pads don't really get in the way as much as the previous one does but you still need to move them pretty high to get his arm straight up uh, he does have the, move, the movement there over here at the elbow as well and of course at the wrist here you can turn his wrists back and forth and he, you can also see there's a little swivel there where you can lean that wrist forward as well to give you that added articulation on Captain Rex so that's his arm articulation there over here at the waist he does have an ab crunch there so you can move him back a little bit move him forward a little bit but you can definitely easily move him side to side angle him a little bit he does have better articulation there I love the cloth skirt I mean I just wish all the figures would come with cloth goods like this just because you can always sit them down it never gets in the way he does have his holsters here the holsters don't hold the guns very well if I take the gun, it's a very, very gummy. The guns have deteriorated a little bit in quality on the newer figures that we're getting. And when you put that in there, it does fit, but it won't stay in that easily. It comes out. You just lift it up upside down, out it goes, okay? So you got to be careful you don't lose them. And that's probably why you saw that I had them in his hands, just so I wouldn't lose them. So looking over here at the thighs, you can see it does have a ball joint there. So you can fully move them, pose them. You can fully move his legs out. You can get them in any kind of dynamic poses. Uh, he does have articulation there at the knees, so you can lift them up. You see his nice little blue painted knee pads on there as well. He does have his little battle droid counts here on the sides. Uh, the ankles here at the bottom, no uh, rocker ankles yet, but the, there is some added articulation to go forward and back on this character. It's amazing how fast these things look dated with the new designs. But that's Captain Rex there from the front without that poncho on. We lift them up underneath we can see it does have foot pegs and it does say 2011 lucasfilm limited so you can see that is the old clone design that was initially released as part of the vintage collection if we turn them to the side we can see what it looks like from the side and of course he kept that aesthetic look that he had on the other captain rex with the uh, battle droid counts there on the boots and on the arms and then of course from the back here we can see that even though we took the cape 
the poncho off, he still has the back of his armor there painted in, the buttons painted in nicely, which is nice. You can see that in there. So a nice design. I love the little elbow pads that come on there and that they're painted as well. It's a nice little design on this character. And that's Captain Rex. If you want to have him with the poncho off, you have a Captain Rex figure that you can put in your collection as long as in a phase two form, as long as you don't mind that visor on top there with the antenna folding back. Uh, it would have been nice to have two helmets, one with the visor and one without, but I'll take this one. Uh, it's a nice new design. So that's the vintage collection, most recent release that we have of Captain Rex. Now, as far as the vintage collection, we are going to get one more Captain Rex. He is pipelined. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be the one that appeared in Ahsoka. So in Ahsoka, there was a flashback scene and we got to see a realistic version of Captain Rex. And of course, that whole scene, that whole episode was amazing. But he was in there and we got to see him in, uh, in uh, I guess you can say, movie or realistic form for the first time, which was awesome. And we should be getting a figure I think early 2024, so that is in pipe, and we'll have another one uh, coming out there. I do want to mention there is still one more Captain Rex figure that I do have. Uh, this one came out in 2016 as part of the Force Awaken collection. Uh, everything in that line was five points of articulation, because that's what Disney was making at the time. We didn't have any vintage collection figures yet. And they made a Rebels version of Captain Rex as he appeared in the cartoon. So in Rebels, of course, takes place just before, five years before A New Hope. And uh, we find out that Captain Rex and a few of his um, buddies are still alive. And, of course, they're older now. Retired version of Captain Rex. I didn't put him here in the background because he doesn't go with the figures here. But he is worth a mention. Just because he did come out and there I have him here in person as well. So you can see that he's, you know, aged a little bit. He hasn't worked out as much as he used to in the past. He's an older Captain Rex here. Uh, he does have parts of his armor still. But these figures with the five points of articulation are very, leave much to be desired. He doesn't have that visor. He does have the battle droid count there on the helmet. And the uh, helmet is removable so that we can take that off. There was something on this figure. The head is on a ball joint, but you can see it's an older version there of Captain Rex. But worth mentioning, if you're a big Captain Rex fan, you wanted to get every single version of him. There is one more here, the Rebels version that's available. Uh, a lot more cartoony, of course, than the other animated version that we got of him. Uh, his arms, just five points of articulation, then go up and down. He doesn't have any movement here at the waist. You can't turn him side to side. You can just lift his legs up slightly. They kind of get in the way there. The belt gets in the way, so you can't even really sit him down. Uh, he's definitely aged, so he's a little more rough for wear when it comes to you know mobility and maybe hip problems from all those battles in the Clone Wars. Uh, he does have holsters, working holsters here on the side. You can take his guns out. He's got uh, big pistols over here that you can put in his hands or you can have them on the side there. So it still gives us that look of Captain Rex. And he's got some weathering here on the bottom of his boots. So that's Captain Rex there from the front. Let's lift him up here and look at him from the bottom. We can see it says Lucas from Limited on one. On the other foot it says Hasbro China. I don't see a year on there. Maybe that's put somewhere else on the figure. But yeah, interestingly, there's no year but I do remember that was 2016 in that Force Awakens line. Uh, there's the helmet. So the helmet is a separate piece. It's a big, pretty big helmet, but that's the helmet that he comes with. It's detailed nicely. It's not painted all the way around the back. So there was some um, exceptions made here. I think just price point wise, what they were trying to do with the line. But that's Captain Rex that we got as part of that Rebels line. Okay, so we're not going to finish the review without looking at our Black Series version of Captain Rex. So in 2018... We got a red box version of Captain Rex, and this is the ultimate version. If you had a chance to pick this guy up, he's an awesome looking figure. Like all you have to do, Hasbro, is take this figure and give us a three three quarter inch version of it. This figure is amazing. This figure is fully articulated. It's definitely like a realistic depiction of Captain Rex as he would appear, uh, realistic wise. Um, some people aren't hundred percent crazy about him just because. He's got a weathered paint job. I love it. I think it gives it like a worn look. I think this is what he would look like in a phase three armor and being in the Clone Wars for so long. We take a close up look there of the head so you can see the detail on the helmet. Uh, the helmet piece here, the antenna that does the visor that does come down. Okay. So you can bring that forward, which is an awesome design. I just wish we could have that in three, three quarter inch form. 
He's got the counts there of the battle droids on the helmet as well. The helmet is removable. We'll look at that in a second. He does have a, a, sh a shoulder pauldron over here on the figure. It's mounted in there nice and tight. I don't even think it's removable. It's like it's on there pretty tight. I probably could get it off if I forced it, but I don't want to because it doesn't get in the way of the figure at all. He does have his pistols in hand. You can see the nice detail on those pistols. I just love the pose they have him in. I don't want to take him out of the pose. Fully articulated, okay, at the swivel, at the shoulders. You can bend him there easily at the elbows, uh, at the wrists as well. You have movement there, and of course, you can bend the wrist there as well, up and down. Uh, the belt is a separate piece. He does have the cloth goods cape, which is awesome, and of course, the working holsters, and look at the nice weathering job that they put on him. He does have an ab crunch, so you can turn him side to side, front and back, up and down, okay? You'll notice on this arm over here, it basically bends up nicely, 90 degrees, over 90 degrees there to hold his arm straight up and put him in a nice dynamic pose. Uh, legs here at the bottom as well on swivels at the leg there and of course the knees bend okay you have that movement of the knee nice full uh, articulation there nice blue accent there on the knee pads of course the weathering and then the battle droid counts on the legs there this is like one of my favorite if not my favorite uh, black series figure this guy just came out amazing i can't believe this is a 2018 action figure he stands the test of time the armor the body everything is perfect on this guy over here so that's what he looks like from the front we lift them up underneath over here. We'll notice that it does say uh, Hasbro China on one foot. I'm trying to see if there's a year on there. I don't see a year on the bottom of this guy, or my eyes deceive me, but I just can't help myself. I always have to look underneath the foot. Foot pegs on there as well. That's what he looks like there from the side. Okay, let's just move this guy up here. It's getting in the way. And that's what he looks like from the back. And you can see the nice paint job here on the back. You can see the nice belt, the design there on the belt. The nice design on the back of his armor over there as well. The only thing that we haven't looked at on the Captain Rex here is that his helmet is removable. So we can take that helmet off and we can see what we have underneath there. We have a nice realistic version of Tamora Morrison underneath there. You can see that it's just an awesome sculpt, realistic sculpt on there. I can't believe like how crazy the, the face sculpt is. It looks, the painting, the eye pupils, everything, the, the sculpting of the mouth, the... These figures just came out really, really good. They've knocked these out of the park. Head is on a ball joint. You can move them back. You can move them forward. You have that ability to keep them with his helmet on, with his helmet off. There's a nice close-up look at the helmet as well. So you can see all the way around, nicely painted and weathered. Captain Rex. And of course, from the inside, it just goes over his head. And that's the figure that we guard part of that a Black Series red box wave in 2018. Uh, we get one more Captain Rex Black Series figure. I don't have him. I'll throw a picture up. Uh, that one came out in 2021. Uh, it was a Walmart exclusive. It's basically this Captain Rex over here. It's the reason why I don't have him. But he's got the poncho one. You know, the poncho that the Bad Batch version of Captain Rex that we had had on him. Uh, the paint job isn't as nice as that 2018 version. But if you missed him the first time around, then you had a chance to get him the second time around. So that does it for us for the Captain Rex review. I hope that you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed it. And thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the great comments. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy sharing the passion with you guys. It's a great passion of mine. And I look forward to continuing it and keep going in the future. And I apologize I haven't made videos in a while. I look forward to making more. So stay with me and we'll go through this journey together. Take care.